Oh, are we on? Okay. Greetings. Sky Marshal Jonathan Baines Good here from Ar Dr. Steele's Army of Toy Soldiers, here with an important message. Well over a year ago, I watched a performance on TV of the stage production of The Lion King. I marvel that the majestic puppets and how they were manipulated. And I started thinking that I wanted to do something similar. Now, Dr. Steele has an iconic symbol, that of a giant robot. And I started thinking that I'd like to make such a robot, make it into a puppet that could be somehow manipulated from behind, like one of the Lion King puppets. But at the time, I neither had the time, nor the funds, nor the expertise. So I put the idea on a back burner. A couple of months later, I led the toy soldiers in the Pasadena Duda Parade, one of the most fun expressions of performance art and just plain silliness there is. And while I was there, I noticed in particular a float in the shape of a giant pink cat robot. And my robot idea came back into my head, and I thought to myself, I'm thinking too small. Life size won't do. This needs to be bigger. And at the time, I drew the first sketch of what this robot would look like and how it would be operated. It would stand 11 to 12 feet tall with a 2 foot diameter head and 6 foot arms and 6 foot legs. But again, I didn't have either the funds or the skills. And again, I set the idea aside. Then came the Doodah Parade this year. And I remembered my giant robot project again. And a fellow toy soldier said, I know a guy that you need to talk to. He's a retired special effects engineer from Jim Henson Studios. And I think he could make this thing work. So, talk to him. I did. And he's bringing in another former Henson associate to assist him now. I was also able to obtain a 3DX Max file for the robot. But then came the sticker shock when he told me how much it would cost. Special effects don't come cheap. And then another toy soldier came along and told me about Kickstarter. And, well, here we are. Now, when this project is done, yes, I want to take it and march in the Duda Parade. But I also want to take it to other big Southern California events. There are many opportunities here in Southern California that we could take this to and have people enjoy it. I actually envisioned unveiling it at Comic-Con this year, but... Comic-Con this year is the last weekend in July, and even if this project gets funded, the funds won't even be available until maybe the second week in August. But it looks like this project really wants to live, because I got a message from an anonymous backer that said, if it looks like the project was on a fast track to get funded, he would fund at least part of it ahead of time, maybe up to half on the caveat that he would be reimbursed by the Kickstarter proceeds afterwards. Which means that if we look very early on, like we're going to easily meet our funding goal, we could start this project a whole lot sooner than we expected. Now, if we make more than our projected goal, and or if the project comes in under budget, yeah, like that ever happens, the leftover funds will go to reimburse the many fine toy soldiers that have pitched in on this project by providing backer rewards and help offset the cost of shipping it to you. So it's a win-win. Anything left over will go towards the expense of getting this robot to its first public unveiling, hopefully at Comic-Con. Now, buyer rewards. Do we got stuff? Boy, do we got stuff. For those of you that make a pledge of a dollar or more, I'm going to be sending out some free stickers like these. 
and bookmarks like these. And anything else we might be able to put in that might be laying around that we might be able to put into the envelope. So it's going to be a uh, grab bag type of thing. Now if you give $10 or more, you will get a official Dr. Steele propaganda DVD. And it will come in this wanky paper slip cover. Ooh. If you give $25 or more, you will get the stickers and the bookmarks, the DVD, and on the back plate of the robot, we will have a section that will say special contributors underneath our names as the creators, and your name or internet handle will go there in big bold letters for everyone to see. Now, if you give $50 or more, you get the stickers and the bookmarks, the DVD, your name on the robot, and we'll send you a photograph of the finished robot with myself and the builders of the robot in the picture and signed by all of us. Now we will be photographing and videotaping our construction process throughout, documenting the procedure from beginning to end. And if you make a donation of a hundred dollars or more, you will get the stickers, the bookmarks, the DVD, your name on the robot, the signed photograph, and a copy of this video that you're watching now and the making of video of how the whole thing was constructed and hopefully a video of uh, us unveiling the robot to the public and the press. And it will all come in a nice plastic case like this. The DVD and the making of video inside. That's classy right there. Well, there's the pitch. I hope you'll give this project, I hope you'll give a little, I hope you'll give a lot, actually, to help this project live. So be well and have fun. And remember, only you can help Dr. Steele take over the world to a utopian playland. <laughs>